Previously on Game Trip. Right. Crap. Well, I gotta go through some kind of rock tunnel. Rock tunnel, rock tunnel, rock tunnel, rock tunnel, rock tunnel, rock tunnel, rock tunnel. Oh, Danny, you grow up so fast. I hope he's watching. He can see his child being raised. Oh, sick. I get up early every day to raise Pokemon from cocoons. Oh, man, are we still doing this? Are we still fighting Caterpies? <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to Game Trip. We're... Oh, fuck, that sounded exhausted. Let's try that again, shall we? Oh, so alone. Alone in the cave. Alone with Pikachu and Helmet Head. Let's get out. Let's leave. Oh no, someone's poisoned. This is Game Trip. Uh. Ah! Uh. Do you know about costume players? Oh god, this guy. Here he comes. Let me guess, you're cosplay- Oh, he's one- he, he, No, he's- he's totally a furry. And I got nothing against furries. I- I don't know why people hate them so much. Or at least when I get on Reddit, they seem to hate them a lot. But they're just people in costumes, right? I mean, that's what's going on. I mean, I don't know. We wear weird shit on a good day. Like what- like a suit and tie? What is that? You know, this boxy thing with this, like, noose around your neck? It's, it's kind of strange. Destroy them, War Turtle! Get that ground-type crap out of here. Yeah. Oh, he's on his way to leveling up in no time. Well, you know, he's, he's gonna evolve, eventually. Costume players dress up as Pokemon for fun! And for sex. You know what happens. Oh lord, it's gonna be a bunch of me running into things. I don't think you can even evolve Machamp. No wait, he's like a level 50. You need to trade some Pokemon to evolve them, which always infuriated me. A person with no friends. Oh, I had friends, but like how often do you, are your friends playing the same game as you? Unless you plan it out or something. It, it didn't happen to me very often. You know what? I don't feel like... I'll use my last repel. I don't, I don't feel like fighting all the Machops. Okay, this is a good sign. I feel like I'm having deja vu here. My Pokemon techniques will leave you crying. Crying. What you, what you got, an Onix? Oh, he's just got that Geodude. It's over, dude. Anyway, now that we're into the episode, um, Man, I was looking at the tiles on in the game, and they look like a little infinity sign. Look, the, the, the pixels. The pixels make a little infinity sign almost, with like pieces of it f falling off, and it's like the same tile everywhere. Oh, uh, let's give this guy a run too. Hit me with your best shot. Then fire away. Um. But anyway, I watched this Infinity documentary, which, you know, d documentaries never really give you a good grasp on the science. They're just like, isn't this cool? This is cool. Check out how cool this thing is. And then, then you learn what the cool things are that are worth being in a documentary. But it was on Infinities, which I never think about the vastness of Infinity. But it's the most vastest vast thing. It's it's almost like a paradox, like because it's ju it's just forever, you know. Everything's small in the scope of forever, even like a billion trillion years. To infinity, that's nothing. Okay, are are we making progress here? It goes a long way. You better have the me beat you up, so that you're not tired the whole way. But how they they put together this thing that said if you put a cert like if you put an apple in a box and 
you wait long enough, like eventually the apple will decay and get worse and uh, yeah, let's change Pokemon because you know who needs to level up? Pikachu. But if you let that apple sit in the box long enough, it'll decay and eventually it'll get, it'll turn into like nuclear fission and crap and all sorts of crazy things will happen to it. But if you wait long enough in the scope of infinity, at some point you'll be able to open it and that it'll just be that box or it'll be that apple again. The same apple, just because in an infinite amount of time, the particles will have had to run up, run out of their various arrangements. So, you know, and they, they're saying the universe is like that, that like in an infinite universe, uh, it would, it would just go on forever repeating itself. And even if it didn't repeat itself, it would, it would, you know, like whatever we're doing right now is going to happen again at some point in the future. And that's crazy. That's, an, that's, that's nuts that in a billion million years, I'll be sitting here playing Pokemon again. Maybe I'm lost. Maybe I'm lost because you look like the last three guys I saw. They are really giving Danny Jr. lots of leeway to level up here. I'll have a Blastoise before I have a Charizard. I don't think I've ever done that before. I'm always in a race to get my Charizard. Another Onyx. Wow. You know who is cool, though? Steelix. I mean, Onyx is cool, but Steelix, oh man, for me, he's the Steel Pokemon. I don't know if there's a standard Steel Pokemon, but... Wait, who's he using? Is it Machop? No, it's Geodude. Just keep up with the Bubble Beams. I'm almost out. I'm just gonna Water Gun. Just a few little drips on this guy. So we played G Darius. If you haven't seen that episode, it's very short and it's very difficult. And I'm trying to get it done in three episodes. But I just spent the better part of two hours playing it, trying to master it. And it's so, it's so hard. It's so hard. It's an, ar it's an arcade game. You know, they wanted you to keep pushing in the coins. But I just had to stop. You know, if you play a game long enough, you just start to get worse at it. I swear. It's like if you practice anything long enough, you'll start to get a little worse over the day, and then when you wake up in the morning, you're better. I mean, that's how I beat most of the Zelda games. I'd get to a puzzle, and it would confound my child mind, and I'd be like, this is impossible. And then I'd wake up in the morning and, like, do it immediately. Oh, look at Graviter. He's like, hell yeah. They made Graveler look cool in this one. Get out of here, you hiker. I'm going to bubble beam my way through this whole place. Now, did I miss something? Ah! Somebody's dying, and I think it's Charmeleon, if I remember. Shit. My repel wore off. And Lord Love is dead. Ooh, I think that's the way out. Something in my brain is telling me that's the way out. Uh, let's just ruin him. Ah, oh, but he might ruin us back. And I know I brought this up in the last episode, but could someone please explain to me War Turtle's feathers? What is that about? Is it explained somewhere? It doesn't make any sense to me. He's a, he's a turtle. He's a bald little turtle. And then... He's another turtle with wings on his ear. Are they... Are they fauna? Are they some kind of war turtle battle raiment? Like, like, war paint? And why do they go away when Blastoise gets here? There's so many questions. What did she say to me? I wasn't even paying attention. I'm just, like, walking along and people are throwing Pokemon at me. And I'm just, I don't care. Uh, God, Yellow Pow needs, yellow pow, yellow pal. Go Pikachu. 
Screw them up. Use your new moves. You know what? We're gonna just do a little double team here. What? What is it? Okay, cool. I was done using it anyway. I just wanted to have a little evasion going. You know, when I was really squeamish at Super Smash Brothers, I used to test myself by finding three level 9 Jigglypuffs on a team. Which I know doesn't sound very hard, but if you're not used to fighting level 9 guys, it was a good in introduction. Goodbye, Pidgey. Y you just, you just, just walk on out of here. Fucking Pidgey. Well, don't you just have a collection of basic-ass Pokémon? Like, what are you even doing in this cave? You're getting wrecked by all these Machops and Geodudes. Your Pokemon should be fainted. Good job, Yellow Pal. Yellow Pal. Yellow Pal. Oh, she gave me 420. I know what she's up to. Oh my god, this is a big cave. Just some dead ends. I'm gonna run into something, I know it. Oh, okay. It's not as bad as I thought. I gotta go past this guy. Who knows, maybe I'll find a cool Pokemon. Morgan informed me that there are green Zubats, but... I don't know. Maybe something else the public could clear up for me. It is... Do you find shiny Pokemon in the original generation? Because I don't ever recall seeing one, at least until I played, you know, like, Black. I don't recall. I don't even- man, I had the legendary Pokémon from Black, too, and I couldn't even remember it. What its name was. Or what the plot was. Or any of that. Just- just that I played it for a long time. It's crazy how long you can play a game and then not remember a damn thing about it. Like, I remember basic Pokemon facts. You just keep throwing those rocks at me, and I'll just keep getting you wet, sir. Well, that's the last bubble beam. Um... No, I'm not gonna change Pokemon. We'll just use Water Gun. Oh man, I forgot to turn down the Pokemon volume again. I hope it's not too loud. I guess we'll find out at the end of the episode. Yikes. I go for power because I hate thinking! Are you sure that's... Well, you know what? I'm just going to leave you to that. Take a break, Danny Jr. You don't need to fight all these chumps. Ah, uh, nothing! Keep thinking I'm gonna find a cool item or something. You have a Pokedex? I want one too! Oh, can I have yours? Oh, you're so cool! I don't even know! Any Pokemon? Ha! <laughs> no, Danny Jr. This is Yellow Pal's fight. <laughs> Pikachu's like, what the hell? You throw me out into this crap? Like, do they know they're about to come out of their Pokeballs? I have so many questions. About I know it's all... I know it's all, you know, subjective to whatever you believe. But I'm so curious sometimes. It, I just try to work it out in my head. Because if I was making a world, I would try to make everything make sense. Even if it was really weird. It, it makes it more immersive, you know? But I mean, they were trying to sell Pokemon cards to kids, so I can't, I can't like expect Shakespeare here. Did Shakespeare even keep with his own lore? I don't know. I haven't read it all. Good job, Pikachu. 
You can actually get Pikachu out of your party if if you trade her. That's how you got to do it. What? I wasn't going to do anything to you, lady. I'm a 10-year-old boy. I don't even like girls yet. Oh, wow. This would be great for Lord Love, but he's he's not present. Oh, good. I don't want to have a poison war turtle, too. This is going so much smoother than normal. No, not the sing. So Morgan told me sleep can last up to six turns in the original generation. Yeah, I guess I'm glad they fixed that. Because that's an insane amount of sleep. Oh, come on, wake up. She slapped you. She slapped you and you're still asleep. Go, oh, come on. Flincher, please. No. Eh. Goodbye, War Turtle. Um, slam him. I know it never lands, but it landed this time. Just beat the crap out of that Clefairy. How dare you? War Turtle was the... Oh my god, there's more of them! You have Pokemon, somehow, still, even though all those guys fought you. Let me beat the shit out of them to finish them off. Uh, give it a shot, Poop Eater. You've been doing really good. And we haven't seen you this episode. You haven't made an entrance. But, you know, I am trying to level up Pikachu. This Pikachu is going to be part of my party. There's nothing I can do about it. All the way into Pokemon Stadium. You know, I'm always down to take suggestions, too. If you think I should play something from 1998, like, just make sure it's from that year, because that's what I'm trying to play. You know. Whoa. Oh, no, Pikachu. Doesn't look good. Bellsprout. Ooh. Um, let's get Poop Eater back out. Yeah, because I never know what to play. I, I kind of just go at random. Like, G Darius, it was a complete, like, throw the dart at the board. It just happened to be really awesome. I mean, that comet scene. Holy crap. God, it, it, some of the visuals in that game for its era were just kind of stunning. And PS1 games usually, usually look like hot garbage. And bullet hells usually don't look good in 3D. And, you know, I'm not saying this one was, like, artistic or anything... Well, you know what? You know what? No, I am saying that. It was. It was cool. I would have been stoked to play that at an, at an arcade. Get out of here, Geodude. Your wrinkly old man arms. And yes, yet another. What are all these girls doing lost in this cave of the dark? Oh, they're part of the Boy Scout crew. Or they're just like me, maybe. I don't know. They're wearing school uniforms? Is that what's going on? Nope, let's just keep going with it. I don't want Pikachu to die. Besides, this body slam is wrecking things. I always thought Body Slam did damage to you, too. Oh, Focus Energy. Let's see. Isn't this move kind of useless? Well, whatever. We'll get rid of Water Gun, because what was Poop Eater doing with it? No. It's tempting to send out Pikachu to fight a Pidgey. 
It seems natural, but it's the wrong choice. Okay, hopefully there's no one left. Oh, look! No, I want to read the sign, Geodude. I mean, Zubat, I'm sorry. I didn't see you there. I wonder if, like, Geodude ever gets Zubat stuck to his head. You know, with his with his big sucky mouth. Good, finally, we're out. Oh, now you want to battle me too? She said she was feeling faint from the hike and she still wants to fight. I get it, they all want to fight. I know, I've played Pokemon. I'm just trying to justify backstories for these characters. It's fun for me. Oh, a Pidgeotto. That's cool. Probably got your butt kicked in that cave quite a bit by all those Onyx guys, but whatever. You know, in the show, they made fun of Ash for not having six Pokemon. But none of these people have six Pokemon. She gave me 422. Is this, is this like a group of stoners? Okay, well, you know what? I really don't want to fight these guys very much. A lone bush. You know, you knew there was going to be something in there. Yeah, I don't want to fight these guys. I really don't want to fight you. I just want to go to the Pokemon Center and bring my Charmeleon and my War Turtle back to life, you know? My dear friends. You know the routine, Poop Eater. Just throw yourself at them like a maniac. Uh, you know what? No. We'll, we'll just keep using Body Slam till we run out of it. I was going to try a Focus Energy, but that seems unnecessary at this point. Oh no, my Pokemon! But he gave me a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars. A thousand yen, I'm sorry. Cubones wear skulls, right? People will pay a lot for one. Not me, but someone else might. Team Rocket will do anything for the sake of gold. I saw Cubone's mother die trying to escape from Team Rocket. Was that a Marowak? Like, what is Cubone's mother? Cubone, to me, kind of looks like a Charmander. In a hood. And I don't know, is that a thing? Well, it looks like we still got some time in this episode, so... Volunteer Pokemon House. Let, let's explore Lavender Town a little bit. And in the next episode, we'll go into the Ghost Tower. That's odd, Mr. Fuji isn't here. Where's he go? Oh, he's on the Pokemon card. Bless you. Gone. Okay, so he's the Pokemon orphan keeper guy. He's probably in the tower. Holy shit, this is the place where Pokemon go to die. Hopefully they sell revives. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know, sir. You are very obviously bald balding, though. Oh, finally, revives. And great balls. Probably good to have some of those. And what the hell, let's get a super repel or 10. Because I don't want to be fighting Pokemon just randomly the rest of this experience. Oh, this guy's the renamer. Hello, hello, I am the official name rater. Want me to rate the nicknames of your Pokemon? 
Which one should I look at? Pooh Peter, you say? Hmm, that is a decent nickname. But would you like me to give it a nicer name? A name worthy of his greatness. Oh my god, it's time. It's happening. We shall name him... Oh man, what shall we name him? No. His new name will be... Uh. No, wait, what? We uh, Can I not lowercase? Oh wait, there is a lowercase. There we go. Do -do -do -do. Scrum. Scrum lewd. This Pokemon has been renamed Scrum Lewd. It's way better than before. And I agree, it is a better name. There you go, Poop Eater. I mean, Scrum Lord. I can't even call you that anymore. I hate those horrible rockets. That poor Cubone's mother. It was killed. It was killed. Damn. Th they don't do that in the show. They don't go around killing Pokemon. No, oh, we got a few more minutes. Let's let's just pop inside. A game to pray to Mike for Mike Clefairy. I can't stop crying. Oh. Oh, they're the grieving. My Growlithe, why did you die? Damn, that's sad. I am a channeler. There are spirits up to mischief. A ghost Pokemon might be fun. Oh, it's fucking lame. Hey, Geefter. What brings you here? Your Pokemon don't look dead. I can at least make them faint. Let's go, pal. Oh god, let's see. What do we got? We got Firo here. No, let's go ahead and let Pikachu come out. Because I want to wipe the floor with, with him with Pikachu for a bit. Good one, Firo. Growl. Who gets into battle and is like, growl at him! Just growl at him! I mean, I get it, you know, I know that lions in real- Yeah, you're paralyzed. Take that, you stupid bird. I know that lions, when they growl, it actually activates something in your brain which causes, like, fear and paralyzation. Like, it's just scary. Okay, not Magnemite, um... Let's get Lord Love out there. Yeah, so that is a thing. You know, but when a tiny animal growls at another tiny animal, I mean, I suppose there's an effect there. You know what? I'm just gonna rage. I'm gonna rage at him till he's dead. I think when I first played this, I spent a good portion of the game just raging battles to death. Because eventually it works. Eventually, even the rock Pokemon submit to the rage. Damn. That's a strong attack. I wonder if I get to keep that attack buff. Oh, God. Another one. Let that rage out. Just keep going. Shelter. Ugh. I know it's not going to end well, but I want to keep the rage going. I want to keep the rage going. Keep getting pissed off, Lord Love. Oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, you just keep doing that. I'm going to keep raging on you. Eventually, you'll die. Not again. Come on. What kind of cheap crap are you trying to pull, lame? <laughs> Shelter! Hide! Charmeleon's just like beating the shit out of him on the ground. And his shell's all cracked and he's like, stop it! <laughs> oh, that's a sad scene. I'm not trying to kill Pokemon in the Pokemon death chamber. 
But he caught the shelter recently. He didn't have a shelter before. And Cloyster's pretty rad. Nope. We've got the rage built up. It's time to keep going. All the way till you're, till you're done, Gary. Yeah. Yes. Ah! The rage! <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay, you've done enough, Charmeleon. You've done enough. Pikachu, take out your nemesis. What the hell? Holy crap! That was like the strongest quick attack I've ever seen. Um, let's see. Am I gonna be cheap and use a super potion? No, I don't have one. Oh, come on, Pikachu, you can do this. No quick attack! No! <gasps> There's a chance. Oh, but if she uses quick attack again, no, it can't be this way. Danny Jr., you've got to finish it. Just bite her. You didn't even stand a chance, lame. <laughs> you stinker! How's your Pokedex coming, pal? I just caught a Cubone. I can't find the grown-up Marowak yet. I doubt there are any left. Well, I better get going. I've got a lot to accomplish, pal. Smell you later. Well, that really screwed up Pikachu. I don't know. I'm going to have to go back now. Better buy some potions. Oh, anyway, that ends this episode. I'll get my shit together for the next one. Um, so see you next time. <laughs>